she she looked very impressive, and it was obvious that somebody had done some serious work with her because her it wasn't just her moves and the way she moved in the ring, which was very good. It was in her presence. You know, the you know professional wrestling is is all about presence, and you can't teach that to somebody. Now, let, I mean, let's face it. Ronda's had extensive experience in front of big crowds, so it didn't necessarily impress me that she was able to step out in front of a 70-some thousand uh, 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 venue and do well, because she's done that before, I'm sure, if not that many people. enough. To, you know, once an audience gets past five or 10,000 people, it could be a million people, it could be 20,000 people, it could be 5,000 people. Once it gets beyond a certain number, it's all the same thing. But the fact that she was able to do it in the, in the way that she did and her execution in doing it, like she had the poise, uh, she carried herself extraordinarily well for somebody making their debut. You know, I can't imagine if you said to me way back in the day, you're going to make your debut on WrestleMania, uh, you know, even attempting to execute at that kind of level. So kudos to her and whoever worked with her to prepare her for that match. Cause obviously somebody did, um, you know, this isn't an, in, an easy industry to pick up. You know, as Steve Austin and I talked about in his podcast last year, uh, you know, it, it, it takes quite a lot of time to really get it and master it. And in between those times that you were talking about when she first debuted, where she looked very hesitant and almost nervous, uh, at WrestleMania, the, the clips that I saw, she seemed to really carry herself at an extraordinary le- level for somebody that has not been performing for years in this business. Kudos to Ronda Rousey. 